Hi and welcome back. Coding Magnetic Signals From the lecture in previous section, you may recall that MACD shows the difference between two exponential moving averages. So, a positive MACD indicates strength in market trend and a negative MACD indicates weakness in market trend. Further, we have the signal line which is another EMA of the MACD. We will use to trigger a buy when MACD crosses avoid signal line and trigger a sell when MACD crosses below the signal line. To take a long position, this time we will use two conditions. First, MACD should be greater than zero. And second, MACD should cross above its signal line. To exit the long position, we use only one condition, that is, the MACD should cross below the signal line. Excellent. So now let us move to the code. The Ogba method in Pi-Algo trade makes it very easy to define the strategy rules. Notice that minus 1 indicates the previous bar. So to enter a long position, we have the two rules that MACD should be greater than 0 and MACD should be greater than the signal value. To exit the long position, the MACD should be less than 0. We are defining these conditions one interval back. For example, if these conditions are found true for yesterday, we will take the trade only today. This delay is actually very important. We cannot use the MACD based conditions for today to trade on today itself. This is because the calculation of MACD uses the closing price. Unless the day completes, we do not know today's closing price. And if we do not have the closing price, we cannot have the value of MACD. The rest of the code is similar to that we use for plotting the moving average signals. Notice the two large winning trades. This is the first long entry. This is the second long entry. And then we have few more long trades here. Thank you for attentively listening to this short lecture. We will now move forward to define strategy rules for the RSI, Bollinger Band and the Z score.